Here's a simple mock-up then using the new BIME DB. I've left it loose so that I can move it around for you. You can see if I move it side to side, the Elevon servos are working there. Similarly, if we pitch up and we pitch down, and the new feature, my rudder at the back here, we can see that that is moving as well. All is good. I'll now just show you some of the differences and features of the new BIME DB. Here's a quick comparison of the original BIME D versus the DB. Personally, I think the form factor of the original is much better for most people. It appears to me that Radio Link have developed this for their own Delta models, specifically the SU-27 and the Turbot. However, what they've done is to, for the servo channels, they've gone for these 1mm spacing JST, I guess they are, connections. And there's the third one for the rudder, and that is the different pitch, 1.25 pitch for the receiver connection and a standard connection for the speed controller or channel 3. Because of those rather odd connections they supply these converters for the three servos and one here for the receiver. But as you saw when I was doing my little demonstration earlier you can buy these are little 2 gram servos with the correct connections straight on. That means that you don't have to use these cables. With regards to mounting, you can see that there's an arrow which will point to the front of the model, but you can install it either way up. It will work out which way is up itself by some magic. Also note on the front here is a very small push button. You need something like a cocktail stick with the end cut off there just to press that and that's to alter the phase of the servos. We'll take a look at that a bit later. My idea then to demonstrate it, I've made this MiG-29 foamy type thing. It's a fairly standard configuration that you can buy in many different places. You can see that it's the standard coupled Elevon configuration here, but I've also modified this one to have the rudder function, so we'll be able to test that out as well. I'll go ahead then now and get this all connected up and we'll see where we go from there. Here we can see the installation on the model then. Another factor to consider when installing is that you should place the gyro as close as possible to the centre of gravity of the model. In that position it will be sensitive to the motion on all the axes. I've glued that down and the little receiver. I've left the two servos for the Elevons loose for the moment. I may have to swap those over once we've checked the direction of the throws, which is the next thing to do. Before then we check the servo direction, there is a little bit of housekeeping to do. The first thing is to set the attitude, if you will, of the plane which you want it to be when it is flying level. Now most planes fly a little nose up and Radio Link suggests that that should be about 20 degrees. I've got mine set up at the moment a little bit less, just on the landing gear that I've printed there. But that's the attitude which I wish it to fly at and uh, we'll see how that works out. To be able to set that, what we need to do is first check that our transmitter, the Elevon and the elevator, is 100% deflection. Otherwise, the calibration won't work. The other thing is that uh, on the radio link transmitters and on this one as it is at the moment, you pull the sticks down into the outside corners to perform the calibration. And lastly, you need to have throttled up a little to get the gyro to start functioning. With all that out the way then we can pull down into the outside corners just until the lights on the gyro go out and then release the sticks. Now that is our level attitude set. Now at last we can check the control surface movement. If we go right 
then that is the wrong way. We go down and up, and that is the wrong way too. So both channels, one and two, would need to be reversed. Rudder, however, is okay. Let me do that now. Having made those adjustments in the transmitter, then now when we go right, the right hand surface goes up and conversely and we go left the left goes up down is up and up is down now clearly this is still on a hundred percent throws and so that amount of deflection will be way too much and obviously i shall dial that down but for demonstration purposes that works for us now what we need to do is to check that the gyro compensation is also working in the correct directions. In stabilized mode then, if the nose pitches down, the control surfaces should go up, which hopefully you can see there. And if it rolls to the right, the right hand control surface goes up. And if we roll to the left, the left control surface goes up. So hopefully that's clear enough for you to see there. And we still have our deflections correct using the transmitter. So down is up, up is down. Go to the right, the uh, starboard elevon goes up. So we should be good to go. Waiting now for the next fine day and we'll see how it all works out. Today then to test out the new BIME DB. Let's see if we can get this thing to take off. Uh, crosswind coming straight across the one way, which is interesting. Wait for that to drop off a bit. And she's away. Now I've got the rates dial, dialed down uh, quite a lot. Let's uh, increase the ailerons. Ah, oh, that's better. But uh, lovely and stable, let's say. I mean, there's not that much wind today. coming across the wrong way there. Now it seems to be going better to the left than to the right. That's probably the weight of that battery. But uh, lovely and stable. Let's take her up a bit higher. And we'll put it into just gyro mode. Gyro, gyro. Uh, the uh, gyro mode, or wind mitigation, if you will, working well there, you can see. That was interesting. As you can see then in the footage, the gyro is working perfectly. Uh, very happy with the results there, both in the fully stabilized mode and in the gyro mode or wind mitigation, if you will. So is the Brime DB worth it? Well, definitely, especially on the ground where you could use it coupled with a steerable nose wheel, which I 
wasn't using, but it will keep you tracking straight as you take off. Excellent. Many thanks for watching.